years ago, another human fell down to the underground. Monsters believed that Frisk would be the one to set them free. But... The human deprived monsters of this possibility. They had to fight the king of monsters, Asgore Dreamer. In the end, the human was victorious. They took away his soul. And left the underground. Sometime after that, the ex queen regained her throne. She passed the law under which all fallen humans were considered their friends. Monsters, displeased, decided to overthrow the queen. The mighty Undyne, ex-leader of the Royal Guard, has retaken the throne. <laughs> throne. <laughs> I'm sorry. She passed a new law under which all fallen humans must be killed. Okay. Horror tale. Chapter one. <laughs> Alright, so, what's up everybody, it's Spartan, and welcome to Horror Tale. Now, this is a fan-made Undertale game, and, hey, I realize it's October, so it'll be a good time to play Horror Tale. It just feels right, because Halloween's coming up, okay? Alright, I'm actually, I don't want to read that again. As I was saying, I figured I should play this at night, and I am. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, introduction. Same thing as the Undertale stuff. Settings. Language. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that is, but... English. Begin game. The name of the fallen human. A. L. I. Alez. Alez. A ray of light cutting through the cracks somewhere up high made you open your eyes. Wow. High enough. Memories of the fallen witch, it seems, lasted forever start to flash in your mind. Right, you fell. You dropped over a thousand feet. That's a lot. Yet, by some miracle, you are alive. Ooh, hello. A new character. It seems these flowers soften your fall. And this disgusting pot. <laughs> and this disgusting puddle of mud. Where are you? Wow. That's pretty cool. Kato looks around. Darkness surrounds you, making it difficult to see past the circle of poppies. At least they are alive, just like you are. You decide to get up to explore this place. What? Howdy? No. Wait. Please, be quiet. Don't scream. Look, there is nothing I can do to hurt you. Okay. Howdy. How unexpected. Another human who fell down here by mistake? What a surprise. I guess it makes you the clumsy and stupid type. Not to be mean or anything. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. 
He offers his leave like a hand. Shake it. Refuse. Shake. <laughs> you can consider me your first friend down here. I might seem harmless, but don't be so native. Or naive, my bad. Seeing as down here. It's eat or be eaten. Okay. Isn't it still considered kill or be killed? Such is the rule of our world. <laughs> of their world? Aww. <laughs> Jeez, you look like the saddest human alive. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to scare you. Well, what's your name? You say your name. Eliza. Hmm, an interesting name. I have never met a kid with such a name. You couldn't help but smile shyly. You know, you look cute when you smile. Thank you. And now, be so kind as to proceed to the next room. That room will be a great place to begin. I will wait for you here. Wow. Okay. Do we have Okay, we still have inventory. 15 HP instead of 20. No weapon, no armor. Okay. <laughs> Look at the character looks. All right, let's go. Just like Undertale. So, you are here. Welcome to the underground. Some time ago, it was a blossoming and lovely place. But it is all in the past now. We don't have much time. She might be coming. Toriel, I guess? So, I'll tell you this much. This place is more dangerous than hell. Especially for you, human. All of this because of one Psycho Queen. Damn her. Hmm. Here, put me in your pocket. Seeing as none of us want to stay here. Maybe together we can get out of this place. What do you think, Eliza? You agree? Okay. Well, then. Uh oh. Ah! It's, I, I can't scream that loud, so. Toriel killed Flowey. I can't move. Am I next? Flowey? Oh my god. Rest in peace. He has turned to ashes. The heartbeat. You are shaking. Your soul is filled with fear. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I never seen gameplay of Horror Tale. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually my first time seeing it myself. I never watched it on YouTube. What? My child. The way how you said that kind of sound creepy. What? What a horrible creature torturing such a pure, innocent youth. Oh, oh, please don't cry. Don't be scared. You are safe now. The big monster gently uh, wipes off your tear. Ah, that's better. Aw, she's so kind. And also, look at her eye color. I'm so glad this vile weed hadn't managed to hurt you. Vile weed? It seems she doesn't understand what she has done. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Toriel. I'm the caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has 
falling down. Poor girl. You don't look too good. You must be very hungry. Let's go. I'll take you to my house and cook something to eat. Okay. Damn. What happened to the ruins? Um, okay. What happened here? Um, what? There's no sa The ruins. Oh, wait, auto save, okay. May actingly looming over you, bringing scent of stale wind and seclusion. Your soul is filled with fear. Okay. Uh, welcome, child. This place is called the ruins. The ruins are an old place filled with puzzles. Ancient nets of traps and keys. Oh, she's confused. Ah, these buttons. There used to be <laughs> there used to be a puzzle, but it's no longer working. Time has left its mark. But there are a lot of puzzles ahead. You will have to solve them. They, however, will be less broken. I hope they will manage to brighten your mood. Now go, dear. Adventures shall not shall not wait. <laughs> Can I read this? Only the fearless may proceed. The rest of the play is broken off. The text is unreadable. Can check. Oh my god. It, okay, so you can press the switches, but doesn't do anything. Fortunately, this puzzle is still working. In order to proceed, you still have to press a few switches. I marked the ones you need for you. Press Z to read signs. Okay. Just like Undertale. Stay on the path. There are no trees nearby. Where do those come from? I don't know. What happened to the water? Please, press the switch. Toriel. Okay. Oh, look at the spikes! They're bloody. Can I go through? Imagine. Need my help again? Just press the switch on the left. Why well, do I do this one? No, no! You want to press the other switch. Tario made these notes specifically for you. Hmm. Look, look at that face. <laughs> you press the switch again. It's not working. Is something wrong? Yep. Check it. Let me try. Uff. Weird. Why has it stopped working? It seems to have stuck again. We can't continue without activating this switch. Wait a little bit. Toro will try to do something. Hmm, what if I do this now? This switch doesn't even work. Um. Rusty spike stand in the way. It looks like blood, but it's rusted. Alright, it doesn't work. Toyo presses the switch nonstop. The lack of any reaction is starting to annoy her. Okay. What happens if we leave? We'll be impolite to leave in such a moment. Am I supposed to wait? Is it even supposed to work? There we go. <laughs> Arr! You stupid piece of metal. Work, damn you! Did she break it? 
Oh. But wait. Where is the child? In here. <laughs> ah, child. Here you are. Don't wander off like this again, alright? It can be dangerous here. You don't want to make Aunt Toriel sad, do you? She's my aunt? I thought I'm your child! Okay. <laughs> this room is useless now. But before you, child, there were a lot of humans. I taught them the rules of fighting here. And this dummy. Ah, uh, so many memories. And monsters used to live in the ruins, too. Not all of them were friendly, but we managed to coexist very well. Such a pity that these times have long since passed. Oh, no time for... Oh, wait. What does that say? Give me a second. Nostalgia? Nostalgia. Nostalgia, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, Toyo is such a chatterbox. It's okay. Talk about chatter. See that dummy? I often talk to it when I'm bored or have nothing to do. I noticed you are not very talkative yourself. Maybe you could try talking to the dummy? Confused again. Um, don't look at me like that. Dummies are not that scary to talk to. They may not be able to answer, but they are good listeners. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> I talk to the dummy? Whoa. Okay. Duffy stand... <laughs> Duffy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, um, I got nothing, I can spare a flea, dummy, um, pun, look, let's look at it, dumb, uh, Mercy Leslie, rag dummy stands on awkwardly, button eyes are unfocused, you can see grief and age old grudges in them, who could have done all this? Tension. Pun. It has become rather tense. So you decide to tell the only pun you know. No reaction. You feel even more stupid than before. <laughs> Alright. The dummy's eyes are pinned onto you. Check. Dummy. All zero. Mangly piece of trash. Talk. It seems incredibly stupid to you. You hesitate yet timely said hi. Toro is very happy. There is a registering smile on her face. It seems she waits for you to continue the dialogue. Tension. Talk. You decide to ask the dummy how is it doing? Or how it is doing. No reply. Probably just as always. Sounds frustrating. I can't spare yet. You decide to ask the dummy about the kind of books it likes. Dummies don't read books. Alright, uh, what if we keep talking? You don't know what else to ask. Um, look again. The dummy stands still like a statue, but an eyes are looking through you. It's so creepy. <laughs> Tension. Can't spare, can't flee. Yeah, I fleed. Oh! You ran away. Sorry. It was foolish of me to make you talk to him. But it's alright. Toyo is always there for you. Don't be shy. Come to me anytime. I will tell you everything you will want to know.
See you later. <laughs> there's only one pup. Oh, wait, there's only- there, wait, hold on, I'm sorry, guys. There is only one puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Hehe. <laughs> Let's see. More leaves. Let's see. The western room is in the eastern room's blueprint. So, this is the puzzle, but here. Take my hand for a minute. Oh, just like Undertale. <laughs> the sharp spikes hide under the floor as Toriel walks across the right steps. Toriel must already know solution to the puzzle. It's all good. Yet. One odd step and your grip on Toriel's hand becomes harder. Okay. This puzzle must be too difficult for you. Not really. Don't walk here alone, alright? Okay. I have one task in store for you, but... Why don't we unwind a little bit? Let's rest from all this heat. It's a long way, so take my hand. That will make me feel better. Alright. Okay. Ooh. Big goat ants paws slightly press your hand. Toriel doesn't seem a stranger to you anymore. You feel an aura of safety around Toriel. You pluck up your courage to ask her about the ruins, her life. Let's ask her about her life. Want to learn something about me? It's not like I have much to tell. I am just a silly old lady who loves children, and I don't like to be... No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant, I don't like to boast, but I'm the only monster in the ruins who makes great pies. I remember that I once won the family master, <laughs> master pie competition. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I need a, you know look at the word and read it correctly I can still feel its taste I put a figure of a little monster on that pie okay it had white fur and cute long ears it seemed so tiny and even reminded me of an angel angle in a way I <laughs> no Okay, I, okay. W whatever. Let's just continue on. Ha! This pie was one of a kind. I'll treat you to do it sometime, my dear. Drooling already? Hehe. <laughs> Look, what do you like more, cinnamon or butterscotch? Hmm. Both? Perfect. Thanks for the information. I'll remember that. Good. Here we are. You seem to look better, child. It seems that the puzzles amuse you too. Hehe. <laughs> they always make a good job of it. Let's go. There are more puzzles to solve. Okay. Wait, what happened here? The ruins are in a worse state than you expected. Had expected. The wind is playing with your hair as if it were a pile of leaves on the ground. It's so hollow and lifeless here. It fills you with fear a little. Safe. <laughs> 
child, I've been thinking. You were so docile this whole time. Or docile, I don't know. It's time to reward you. Want a warm hug with your Aunt Toyo? Hug her? Don't. Sure. I knew it. I knew it. Just like Undertale. Yay. Thieves. Hello. Well done, Alaza. Come here. Hug me. Yes! See? I didn't lie to you. You kinda did. Did that offend you, child? It was just a test of trust. I'm sorry I had to use this trick. The giant pile of leaves down there was meant to soften. You fall? Thanks for trusting me, my child. This one is very simple. I think you are a smart girl and you will solve it without my help. Sure. Uh, my child, look at how slowly it moves. It must be very difficult for it. Be a good girl and help it. There we go. Great. Now thank him. You have just thanked a stone. Now you feel even more awkward. <laughs> Wait, broken sound. Let's read it. It's covered with dust and cracks to such an extent you can't see anything else. Better not get your dirty hand. Oh no. <laughs> Better not get your hands dirty. Okay. Hello. Still confused? I understand. There are lots of creatures in the other ground. Even stones here have their own feelings and desires. And by the way, there's nothing to be afraid of. They are quite harmless. The only things they do are talking and crawling across the floor. Why to stop? My child, please, close your eyes. <laughs> do not peek. <laughs> Wait, what? She gave me the answer. My child, Toria will be very glad if you use this tip. The leaves will point the way. Of course. Just like Undertale. Done so soon, Eliza? Here is your small reward. I have a few on me. You get a butterscotch candy. Why not please yourself with some sweet treat? Let's get started with this puzzle. I know how this works. It looks like the puzzle is one of the previous rooms. So, you already know the solution. I'll leave you to it. But it's that one. It's the third one. I guess I'll push it anyway. One. Two. There you go. Ta-da! Together we can do anything. <laughs> Wait. What happened to the cheese? No! No! My child, don't touch that filth. I don't even know how long it's been there. We'll need to get rid of it. Let's get out of here, and quickly. A pile of leaves. Ah, I remember meeting my old friend here, and... Uh-oh. Go back. You better go back. Oh no. She's crazy. I'm not safe. 
Ah! Eliza, have I scared you again? Oh, oh. You are safe, silly. It was just... Well... Never mind. Ain't nobody. Just a parasite. Don't pay any attention to it. Everything's alright. She's crazy. Can I, ch can I see the dust? No. Can I go in here? My child, this room is dark and covered with spider webs. Are you sure you want to go in there? Farewell then. Be careful. Sure, I'll go. Whoa. The sign is wrapped in web. Spider bake sale. The finger you followed the text with stuck to the plate. Huh? No bakery here. I'm walking in the web. <laughs> Let's go. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made the spiders of spiders of spiders. What happened here? Nothing. Eliza, I have to leave you for a short while. You will have to stay alone a bit. A little bit. I'm really sorry. Can you get past the ruins on your own? Yeah. No, I shouldn't put you in such danger. Or to such danger, my bad. Um, could you wait in this room for a little while? It won't take long. Be a good girl, won't you? Nah, I'm gonna follow you. You decide to wait until Toyo comes. You are a good girl, right? But it's just so boring to stand in one place. So you decide to sit. Wow. Sitting on the cold floor is still better than getting into troubles because of your own carelessness. Or something even worse. Even a blind would pass through these traps, though. But not you. A stupid, clumsy girl. Too scared to talk to anybody. But, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I skipped it. <laughs> My fault. Damn you all, idiots. Hatred towards your friends has filled your head. Had you been braver, you would have started swearing. Shaking the walls of the ruins. Traitors! I hate you. For some reason, these dumb heads made you climb this cursed mountain. Why? 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 Why did you agree? Why did you go with them? Oh, that doesn't matter anymore. You are left to be filled with hatred and complete silence. A quiet girl is a good girl. A quiet girl. <laughs> That's what your mother used to say. Wow. Is everything adults say is true, you wonder? Not really. Your thoughts are interrupted by a loud sound of a dying whale. What? Ah, that's just your belly. It's growling, desperate to feel the cold emptiness of your stomach. You feel as if the hunger has created a giant hole inside of you. <laughs> You've been sitting here for a long time. You grim through... Uh, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Let me... Your grim thoughts push you deeper and deeper into the abyss of despair, which brings terror. Yet, despite everything, you decide to keep going. Wow. Wait, I wonder. There's still a switch, and what else? Let's see. Let's go down here. Look at that! Oh crud! 
I didn't flip the switch, my bad. Let's go read the note first. Mr. Midnight. Wow, wow, that's my friend's name. Midnight's my friend's name. Well, that's it. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> Not these buttons again. I swear, if I had to press them. Imagine pressing them. I remember how to do it. It's that one. I, I think I remember the buttons from Undertale. I think it's this one. It's a switch. Press it. Yes, no. You hear a clicking sound. Huh? You hear a strange sound. Seems like someone's screaming. Someone's crying for help. Looks like it's coming further from the ruins. Let's keep going. And it's this switch. Then that should do it. Wait, let's read the sign first. If you can read this, press the green switch. I remember. Ooh. Well, let's check the other room. Is there like a secret or is there um, a weapon? Let's see. Because I don't know if you have to fight Toriel or not. Whoa. What's this? An odd metal item is glimmering in the light. Take it? Yes. You found a part of switch mechanism. Dust right here? You can't see it. What if I use it? You can't find a fair use yet. You can't find a fair use for it. Broken switch. You wonder if you could find a... <laughs> Wait, hold on. You wonder if you could find a use for it. Hmm. Sounds like a little secret. I don't know. Oh! I've gotta visit her. What if something happened? Hello, how you doing? My child! What are you doing here? Have I not told you to wait for me in that room? What if something were to happen to you? You can't be so reckless. Ah, I must have been away for so for too long. So if you would have grown tired of waiting, forgive me for this. Not a scratch, perfect. Don't just stand there. Come in, come on in. I was about to say come in. It's not in the house yet. Compared to the rest of your surroundings, this little house looks really comfy. Yet, deep inside you have a feeling something bad is about to happen. Deep inside, you are filled with fear. Okay. Welcome to Toyo's home, child. I you, Toyo. I didn't expect any guests, so this place may be a bit messy. There are probably some things lying around some dusty corners. You aren't allergic to dust, are you? Good, good. Toyo is going uh, to through. Wait, help, I'm sorry. Toyo is going to thruthly clean the house. Or thruthly, I don't know. I want to think that you can have s some real nice time here. Come now, I want to show you something. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna see this stuff. Warm books and magazines. Toyo loves to. Wait, what? Toyo loves a good read. Okay. Wait, what if I go down? What happens? Does she come for me? Yes, yeah, she does. Hey! You shouldn't go down here. There is something I have to show you upstairs. Okay. I guess not. Let's go. Here it is. Your own room. It's a little bit gloomy, but I hope you like it. Ah, the old rubbing head. Ah, well, ah, and here's a humble present to you. Ah, oh, she's happy. 
Aw, you are such a cutie with this bow. I'm glad to have found it. Another child forgot it here a long time ago. Unfortunately, she wasn't so well behaved. A little pushy and naughty girl. I'm sure you wouldn't understand. It's hard to get along, along, my bad, with such people. But I believe humans can change over time. Do you agree with me? Yes. Ah, now you are a well-behaved little girl. What a relief. It's such a pleasure to be around such children. Well, this room is at your disposal. You have better look around for now. My, my, wait. My modest library holds a lot of interesting books. Don't be shy to take them. Feel yourself at home, dear. Okay, let's go in here. Ooh, that sounds creepy. A plush toy. It's lost its color. It kind of reminds you of Toriel. The lamp doesn't work. Eye-catching empty sheet of paper is glued to the wall. You take a peek inside the closet. All shelves are stuffed with different looking clothing. Some of which don't fit you. Oh, I can sleep. Ah. Wait, what the? What was that? Look. If, if you go if you go up down. What? That, that's so creepy. Wait, let's keep, keep, keep looking. Can I go in here? Surprisingly locked. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. The sign is covered with dust. It's Eliza! It's Eliza. Broken mirror. Who could have thought to put a water sausage in a flower vase? So I can't see that. I uh, who could have thought to put a water sausage in a flower vase? Same dialogue. What if I go back down again? What happens? Would she come get me? Yep. Don't go there, child. Okay. I'll listen. I'll listen to you. Wait, actually, let's check. Let's check that drawer. Inside is an old calendar of the beginning of 2010. Let me know what that means in the comments. There is fire in the fireplace, which makes the air around it noticeably warmer. Feels nice. You decide to warm up for a while. Suddenly, you remember about the fudge Toriel gave you. It's very stirring, yet yeah, you can try to melt it. Melt it? Sure. You wrap the tree and hold it before the fire. Surprisingly, the fire doesn't feel hot. It wraps around your hands gently. Finally, the fudge melts and you eat it. Yummy! Lots of books. You can take a random book. So many to use this for snails. Read? Yes? No. A random page. Fact number 32. Snails have a ribbon-like tongue called a radula that contains thousands of microscopic teeth. The radula works like a file, ripping food up into tiny pieces. Fact number 33. Snail horns are actually noses turned outside out. Fact number 34. Snails cannot only drink but also soak up moisture with all their body like a sponge. Fact number 35. Snails communicate with each other's what? Uh. Ah, child, here you are. The pie is ready. You like these book? <laughs> Wait, you like this book? What a coincidence, me too. Hmm, I have an idea.
Oh, you and Tara discuss different time <laughs> with different topics long into the night, as if you were old friends, even a boring encyclopedia about snails. Can turn out to be interesting, given you have someone to talk to. Sweet butterscotch cinnamon crust is crisping pleasantly inside your mouth. Delicious. So delicious. Ever so kind and caring, Monster has certainly come to your liking. Her happily shining eyes and cheerful voice has made your, uh, fatigue wither away. I don't know. Friendly chatter paired with the sweet treats fill your heart with joy. Isn't it perfect? Oh yeah. <coughs> what? <coughs> ah, child, wait. I'll be right back. What? Here, here. Deep breath. Oh, I am so sorry. I have forgotten how monster food can affect humans. It's n nothing. We are gonna fix this. There, there. I'm sick? Oh dear. I can't let you travel home in such a state. You look so bad, dear. You will rest until you have recovered your strength. So unfortunate. Stay put. I shall fetch some medicine from my garden. Can I get out? No. Wait, what? Did I fall asleep? Wait, that's it? Hey, Toei Radiation Fox. Uh, Star Apple Studios. Original Undertale creator of Horror Tale AU. Horror Tale the game, <laughs> the game Team. Wow, four people? The uh, the artist, scripter. Wait, ooh, fallen child, new home, into puzzles, to forgive. Huh. Sound Apple Studios. I actually heard I actually heard of them before. Special thanks, Alexander, questioner, ex leader of the project. Okay, there's some testers too. Three of them. Help with us, uh, sp uh sp sprites. <laughs> And of course to you, dear player. <laughs> the face. So now what? That's the credits. Horror Tale. Chapter 1. Okay. What? Well, <laughs> that's it? So, the game closes on you. Are you serious? Oh my god. But anyway, guys. That was Horror Tale. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. It was a good chapter. I hope this chapter too. I really hope so. But anyway. I'm in the video right here, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I'll try to more videos. Also, I like my background. It's a custom background. <laughs> Alright, so. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Actually, I, I still can't stop thinking about it. It's pretty good. But what was that switch for? Let me know, let me know in the comments below, okay? If I miss anything. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And always remember, stay determined. Spartan out. <laughs> I don't know why I opened up the game back up, but... Anything new? Oh, flowy. Hold on.
Come here, GB. What is this song called? I wonder. Okay, stop. Alright, so. Spartan out. Have a good night.